David, evening. Hi, um, first of all, just quickly your thoughts on the performance. Uh, well, the performance wasn't great. The performance wasn't great on Saturday either, and uh, fortunately enough, we'll get two two wins from it. So we'll need to we'll need to improve if we're going to uh, we're going to stay where we are and do what we're doing. So we have to play much better than we're doing at the moment, Jack. That's for sure. Um, I know you've been asked about it already, but just on the situation around Kurt, what was your initial reaction to seeing that when you woke up this morning, and how do you feel your decision to start him tonight tallies with the club's statement that they completely condemn his actions? Yeah, totally. Uh, I, I'm really disappointed, and uh, the club have taken all the actions that they, they can do at the moment, and they're they're you know, working on that behind the scenes. My job is to try and pick a team and the best team which gives me the best chance at West Ham and uh, Kurt was part of that team. Do you, do you feel that at any point a, a moral decision comes into picking that team as well though? Uh, for, for me yeah because I'm a, a big animal lover and I uh, you know and I, I think it's something which will have affected a lot of people so I'm really disappointed with it but as I said before, my job tonight was to try and win for West Ham and put the best team out I could to give me that chance. And just finally, you able to shed any light on the action that the club will take? Uh, no, I think the club would rather probably deal with that, and I'm sure in time they'll let you know what that action is. Cheers, David. Cheers. Thanks, uh, James Cole. David, do you worry it sends the wrong message, the fact that he plays tonight? I don't quite understand your question. Sorry, I don't quite understand uh, if you could explain it to me a little bit better. Well, in any other work, walk of life, you'd be suspended pending an investigation, but he played, and people find that very strange, given what's out there, what's public, what's known. Mm -hmm. uh, well, as I said earlier, and I'm only going to repeat myself, James, I, I, I completely was really disappointed with what I saw and what what I was told. But overall, my job tonight was to try and find a way of getting a win for West Ham. Uh, of course, there's uh, there'll be people who are all disappointed with that, and I, I understand that totally. Have you seen the video? Yes, I have, yeah. How did you feel when you saw it? As I said, really, really disappointed because I'm a, I'm a big animal lover, and... Uh, and I'm someone who cares a lot about my uh, my dogs and my horses and all those people who, who I'm connected with. Will you speak with him or will you leave this as a separate matter for the club? Is that, is that how you're approaching it? Yes, the club are dealing with it, as you well know. Uh, I've already spoken to him and uh, we will we'll move on as much as we can. We wanted to try and Get, get this game out of the way and we understand that uh, you know it's not something which everybody's uh, pleased about in fact nobody will be pleased about it so it's a really poor situation thank you james Mark. okay thank you matt from the express hi david um in different circumstances we might be talking about three points and being fourth but we are still talking about uh Kurt. Do you think, with hindsight, that you might have made, you've made the call? Do you think it might have been the wrong one? My feeling was that uh, Cups apologised, and I understand that a lot of people will not be just accepting an apology. I understand that, but to me, he he came out, he said that very honestly, and I, as I said before, had to do my job then. That job tonight was was pick the best team I possibly could. Thanks, Matt. Uh, Rashane. You're muted still. Hi, David. Can you hear me? Hi, Rashane. Uh, David, uh, it's been a tough 12 hours for Kurt. Just wondering how how is he? What's his headspace like at the minute? Well, he's obviously really disappointed and uh, we've all felt it through the team and through the club but uh, we're all of the same feeling that you know it was 
something which was completely out of order and something which we didn't expect from Kurt. We really didn't. We didn't see that in his character and we've not seen that from him in anything we've come across with him. So uh, we're really disappointed. And, and given the reaction, how late of a decision did you make to uh, put him in the team? Did you have to ask you know, coach staff for their thoughts on it as well? Uh, no, I, I always felt that uh, I think the, I had to try and separate them and I had to let the club do their side, which was to do the other side, and I had to do my side, which was the football side. Thank you. Thanks for saying. Uh, Jordan, for Sam. Hi, um, David. Are you also concerned about another message you sent out, perhaps, to your squad, that they can do something like this or something like this can happen similarly and they don't get dropped? So it almost, not that they get away with it, but they haven't been dropped and they still get to play in the team. Uh, I think you're probably talking to one of the most disciplinary, disciplinary managers I think there is. So uh, I, I would always act if I think that it's it's got to be done. I've told you that it's something which we we all are really disappointed with. Uh, the club are dealing with the other side of it, and I looked after the football side, and I had to try and get get a result tonight. And uh, Kurt at the moment would be one of our. Uh, in their first 11 today, so my decision was to play them. Okay, if there's other questions, we'll leave it there. Thank you, everybody.